Welcome to the stage, our final comedian of the night. He is a touring comic. He's actually a professional comedian, and his name is Mike Logan! I've been sitting back there for a while, man. I'm like, Thank <laughs> you. 
får ju till det. Still hate all your kids. She's she is the best. I think like everyone in this room doesn't agree with me in that mentality. You love your kids, right? Your kids? You love your kids, right? Do you like anybody else's kids? Do you love anybody else's kids? No. Yes. Whoever said yes is a crazy person. Yes. Are you submitting to me crazy now? I love my daughter, she's eight years old. Uh, she is at least half black. <laughs> I didn't do a test, you know? We don't do that kind of DNA test. We pretty much know where we're from. <laughs> do you get it? <laughs> my daughter is eight years old, she lives in Petoskey, Michigan. Tell me from this room, you've all been there, right? Mutton, right? Yeah. 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 Two tracking, two tracking. Yeah. Oh, here, yeah. Yeah. you got a jeep? Do you go in the mud, go crazy with it? Do you park like a like a like a, a piece of crap on the parking lot? Or you just get up on one curb and get the jeep thing. Yeah. Like it's a taking up two spots thing, is what it is, sir. I trust you're a responsible jeep driver. Just like a responsible person. By that I mean a uh, wife. Um, <laughs> don't own the hat. That's a hardcore compliment. I'm saying I respect white people. Look how tight these pants are. Yeah. <laughs> I know, right? I know, right? Oh, man. I'll talk to you later. So my daughter, right? She's eight years old. She's whip smart, you guys. She's smart because my parent, or my uh, my uh, daughter's mom and myself decided when she was like in the womb, we're like we're gonna talk to our daughter like she's an adult from the day she's born. We read books and they were like you should do this. She'll develop you know a large vocabulary and she'll be very smart quickly. And we did it and it worked. She's very intelligent. We talked to her like she's an adult, and now she's very smart. The only problem is, now she talks to us like she's an adult. <laughs> they don't put that in the book, you know? It's weird, it sucks too. It's not like I'm mad that she says things to me. I'm just mad because she talks to me like she's an adult, and then I react to her like she's an adult. And then I feel bad as a parent. I was driving around Northern Michigan around the holidays, right? There's a lot of deer up there, right? It's Northern Michigan, there's deer everywhere. We're driving back from some family get together, and it's nighttime, and I'm driving the car, and she's in the back seat, and the deer runs in front of the car. Now, what happens when a deer runs in front of the car, right? It's going to be another deer. It always is. They run in packs, and they're stupid. <laughs> also, a little word of advice if you're about to hit a deer, do not swerve or slam your brakes, just drive through that deer. <laughs> it may be harsh to hear, but let's be real here, we all care more about the car than the deer. And it's better for the car. That joke never gets last, but I will always tell it. I'm about learning stuff when I'm on stage. <laughs> So the deer goes in the front of the car. I'm like, oh, I guess I'm gonna hit this deer. Plow right into it. Bam! Flies over the top of the car. Kicks out the back windshield. Lands in the street behind us. I slam on the brakes. My daughter, she's in the back. She's shook. She says, oh, Dad! 
did you just hit that deer? And I said, oh, daughter, that's a really dumb question. What? <laughs> yeah, I said, we're in the same car. You just saw what happened. <laughs> what question is that? She got all mad at me because I snapped at her. She got mad. She stopped talking to me for like 20 seconds. I get out of the car. I fix that, make sure the car's fine. The car's fine. A little dent, not a big deal. I get back in the car. She's still in the back, popping. And finally, she breaks her silence and she says, Dad, that was really sad. I was like, well, you know, it is unfortunate when that kind of stuff happens. I don't like to do those kind of things. It sucks. She says, oh, no, no, Dad, I, it's sad because you're a murderer now. <laughs> I'm not a murderer now. She says, yeah, Dad, you murdered that deer. I said, no, I'm not murdering that deer. She says, Dad, you murdered that deer. I said, I did not murder that deer. She says, Dad, you murdered that deer. I said, no, no, it was vehicular manslaughter, okay? Accuse me of a crime, accuse me correctly, please. <laughs> it's true! She's mad at me again. <laughs> sitting in the back, pounding for like two minutes. I say the word to me. Here's the thing about kids, much as I talk trash, much as I talk all this garbage stuff about kids. Here's the magic thing about kids. They have an amazing power, and that is to make you really, really irritated, and then two minutes later, remind you of why you love them to death. That's what they do. We're sitting there, I'm driving, she's quiet, I'm quiet. All of a sudden she breaks her silence and she just says, Daddy, I hope you never die. <gasps> so I'm like, oh my God, what an amazing thing for her to say. I just want to like marinate in this daddy-daughter moment. So I'm trying to prolong it and I'm just like, oh honey, why do you hope daddy never dies? And she says, oh, I don't want you to go to heaven and murder that deer again. <laughs> You doing good? I'm glad you guys came. You sat in a great seat. You got a great view. Everybody in the back, there's nobody in this seat. This isn't creepy. It's still really creepy, right? It's like super creepy. A little creepy? You're into it? Hey, hey, okay, okay, okay. I'll stop. I will stop. Unless you're into it. No, I'm stopping. No. I asked a guy one time, 
I'm like, hey, sir, you can come back to anything. Well, would you come back? And he says, never once thought about it. Whoa, all right. <laughs> I said, well, could you think about it? Snow leopard. Wait a minute. I think about it. If I come back to anything, what would I come back as? Obvious choice for me would be a white man, right? No. That's too easy, you guys. If I come back to anything, I'd come back as an attractive white female. It's true. And the reason it is, attractive white females have an amazing power to do and say whatever they want with no consequences. It's true, and if you don't believe me, the odds are very good, you're not an attractive white female. The rules, <laughs> it's true, man. I've heard white females, attractive white females, say some crazy things sometimes, and I'm shocked that nobody says anything about it. I'm sitting at a bar before a show one time, a friend of mine, he's on stage, right? He's telling jokes. He's talking about how when he was a kid, he had done so many drugs that it's made him dumb as an adult. That's what he was saying, right? And there's a girl sitting to my left at the bar. She was an attractive white female. She leans forward to the bartender and she says to him, Hey, this guy on stage is talking about how doing drugs make him dumb. I've never done a drug and I'm really dumb. Like, what? <laughs> <laughs> she can just say that for real? <laughs> I want that power is what I'm saying, man. <laughs> I'm at a coffee shop one day. I'm standing in line waiting for my coffee. In the door walks an attractive white female. She walks with the barista and she yells at the barista at this volume. Hey, would it be basic and white of me to order a pumpkin spice latte right now? You know what? Screw it. I'm basic and I like it. This little girl's like, really? For real? You see this? She's like, oh, the dude, like, if I were going to a KFC tomorrow, right? Right now. <laughs> Don't worry about the drink, bro. I'm all cool. Yeah. 